think it's just the big bum, innit? Let's have a look. The thing is, he copied me. Yeah, no, I think it. No, no, I think it. Kind of what? Why are you fuming? I'm fuming. Hi guys and welcome back to the clubhouse. I'm Zach Jalab and I'm joined by my best mate, Olivia Barzagler. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good, thanks. Best mate, that's indeed, nice. Indeed. A very exciting, Zach, because we have an action-packed filled show for you today. Yes, very shortly coming onto the show will be two England internationals, our very own Raheem Sterling and Conor Gallagher. Yeah, and we thought, why not get our first teamers to give us a little bit of live advice in our segment, Cues from the Blues. Indeed. Also coming up on the show is a game we like to call Mind the Gap, where the boys will have have to guess who our tweets and comments are about from the Chelsea squad. I wonder if they've got that in them. We will wait and see. And of course, coming up is Zach's favourite part. It's my favourite part as well. It is, of course, the initiation. What an exciting <laughs> show. You ready, Liv? Yeah, let's do it. OK, without further ado, let's please welcome to the sofas Raheem Sterling and Connor Gallagher. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Thank how are you doing? Much. All good. How are you? Yeah, very good. well. Thank you. Very well. How thank are you? you? Hello. Good. How are you? Good. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? Take a seat, guys. Take a seat. Yeah. Raheem, how has it been for you, obviously, moving to Chelsea this season? How's it been being back in London, being closer to where you grew up? Yeah, it's nice. A nice feeling. Um, of course, you know, just keep building. But it's a nice feeling. And obviously, Connor, for you, your first season back as one of the first team members, you had a few loan spells. How are you finding being part of the first team setup? Yeah, it's been good. Um, it's always been a dream to get to the first team. And uh, this is obviously my first season and obviously it's been a tough season for, for the team, but you know, it's been a great experience so far. Do you ever remember your like first day of walking into Cobham when you were when you were a little boy at all? Yeah, yeah, when I, when we were literally like eight years old, un under eights, the dome was right next to the first team building. And we always used to walk, walk past the first team building to go to training. So I, I always remember that and thinking like... Was it, did you see wow. one, of the, one of the players as well? Like, oh yeah, we saw the players sometimes and it was, yeah, it was very... Um, to kind of be part of the first team now is very special. Amazing. Onwards and upwards Indeed. from here. Um, right, now that you guys are here, we want you to offer some life advice, if that's okay. Yeah? Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our audience, the guys at home have been sending us emails, comments, DMs, tweets, you name it, basically. They need some help with some issues, so we've got them right here. And our first question is none other than this. Okay, I want to bring my new girlfriend to a Chelsea game this season, but I'm really worried that she'll end up fancying the guy I sit next to in the shed end more than me. What should I do? Move seats or just hope he doesn't steal my girl? Toby, 29 years old. 29 years old. Right. Yeah, you're yeah, you're miles off. <laughs> <laughs> you're miles off. What would you do? He needs to have a look him, at himself in the mirror. <laughs> and, just, <laughs> and just, yeah, just grow up. <laughs> I respect him, no good. No, like he that needs advice. that. No, he that's, needs he that. Need, that does. does, he needs that. Clearly Toby. he's not getting that from everyone else. So. Yeah. Indeed. Toby, if you're watching, yeah. grow up. Yeah, grow up. Okay, our second one comes from Marvin, who is 34, and he's asked, my wife and I got married last month and have just booked our honeymoon to Jamaica, which we're super excited about. What a place. However, I have noticed that it clashes with three Chelsea games that I need to watch. How should I bring this up with the missus? Raheem, how are you feeling? I know you obviously you've been to Jamaica before. What a place to go to. But obviously he doesn't want to miss the Chelsea play. Just say um, got the game's <laughs> on at 7.30, I'm gonna watch the game. Like right? it's that it's not that it's not that deep. But it's it might be deep. might be deep for, for the You for, can't have for the a wife, you know. You're not gonna be with her 24 hours but a on day. On a honeymoon, surely you are, no? I don't know. Maybe what he does, he like. books something for her to go and do around that time. Football, football match is not that long. She can do something. Listen, football comes first, doesn't it? So she's just gonna have to deal with it if he wants to go and watch it. No, no I feel like if they book something, then you go, you go with your with your wife to where you're he going. Is going. But he's yeah, he can't watch a match. You know, he wants to watch three Chelsea games whilst. Yeah, he's I know, there. and I agree with, with Raz. Like, go and watch the game if if you want to watch the game. Yeah. But you're saying like, if he's booked something, then you know, my, it's one thinking, game, my thinking is, what if, he, if he booked something for her? For oh, 90 well, minutes uh, okay, like around the same a time, massage a massage. Yeah. Then there's your little excuse. Oh, look, I've booked something for you. I know it's our honeymoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. The next one is, this is from Claudia, 25. I've recently noticed that my boyfriend has started to change his appearance. Every time we go out, he's now in tighter jeans, a flat cap, 
some strange flat cap and puts on more jewellery than me. I've always said I love him no matter what he wears, but I'm now wondering whether that's actually true. His new look is dreadful. What do I do? Wow. If it, so, like, is fashion sense a big thing for you guys? Like, if someone changed their fashion sense, would that change the way you felt about them? No. No. So then what? Strictly, like, you tell them straight. So you tell them you don't like it? Come on. That's not working. Like, for me personally, that's not what I don't like that. That's but would you then expect them to change, to change what they're wearing? If that's their style, you can't change them. But at the same time, like, I'm going to ban you that much. <laughs> <So> <laughs> then you're you going to want to change it. Like, when we go out, I'm going to let people what do you make of What do you make of our styles so far God, I today? Out of 10. That's all right. That's yeah, good. all right, yeah. Eight. Oh, I'll, I'll hey. Can we just oh, say last? Can I, can I just say hey, what? On the last, on the huh? last episode, we don't need his to haircut do this. got rated a four or something. Four. So we'll we take an eight. We don't need to do that. We'll we don't need to do that. I'll take an eight every day of the week. Okay, so what, 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 what should, what should Claudia do? Oh, no, at no, at no. the start, like if you, if say your tongue's a girl and her style is bad, then that will come into play. You've been with someone. Say you've been with someone. Yeah, if it's your girlfriend, then it means nothing to feelers or anything. Exactly. Honesty. Be honest, Claudia. Tell him. Moral of the story. It's bad. Okay, our fourth one comes in from Arlo. I play for my local team with my friends at the moment, which I love, but I'm starting to find it too easy. I don't feel like I'm learning anything. I'm wondering whether I should move on and try and better myself or stay at the team with my mates as I enjoy playing with them. What should Arlo do? I remember when I was like young before Chelsea, playing with my local team with all my mates and stuff. And this is when I was like seven or something. Yeah. And I had to, I had to leave because like the best Sunday league team wanted me. And I, at the time, I didn't really want to go, but my dad dad made me. <laughs> um, and then from there, that's when you got scouted from Chelsea, so definitely he should, he should move on. Okay, guys, well, thank you so much. I'm sure they will have found that really useful. If you guys at home want to get other advice from the players at Chelsea, make sure to leave them in the comments. Okay, guys, it's now time for a bit of a game. Uh, we're calling this Mind the Gap. Now, we all know as well how much the fans love replying to some of the Chelsea posts out there. And so what we've done have, is take some of their replies, blank the name, and you guys have to fill in which player fills into the spot. Get it? You Perfect. get one point for every correct answer. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into it. This is Mind the Gap. Right, the first one. Someone's acceleration of pace with the ball is insane. Very similar to Mbappe. So you've got Sterling, Mudrick, Madueke, and Bruce James. A, B, C, mm -hmm. and D. You just write out the name. It's quite a few, quite a few that fit that quite kind a few of mould to be fair. <laughs> Do you want to just put Not the letter? Lie. <laughs> okay, Raheem, like, who have you gone for? B. B for Raheem, you've gone for Mudrick. And you've gone for Mudrick as Connor's well. Connor's gone for Mudrick. The answer is Mudrick. Yes, of course, the fastest player in the Premier League. It had to get be, a point. It? Is he the fastest player you think you've, you've seen? Mm. For the Anfield game, I was like, when I was watching it at home. Mm. I was like, right, he looks rapid. But <laughs> again, I haven't played with him much. Mm. more so to see him live, live you know what I mean, so mm. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, our next one then, guys, is here. Somebody's low centre of gravity reminds me so much of Eden Hazard. Man literally knocks players to the ground. We've got A, Ben Chilwell, B, Joao Felix, C, Raheem Sterling, and D, Hakim Ziyech. Can we put A, B, C, or D? Yeah, yeah. Sure thing. Sure thing. <laughs> The less work is the best. Don't have to write the name yeah. this time, it's fine. Who do we think it is? Have you got an answer, both of you? Okay, we've got Raheem's in. Raheem's gone himself. Both of you have gone for Raheem yeah. Sterling. The answer is... Yes, Raheem Sterling. Yeah. Do you feel like, Raheem, you, you kind of have similarities between Eden Hazard? Obviously, he was somebody that was at the club for a long time. I think time. it's just a big bum, innit? <laughs> 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 Okay, right. Next one. That was, by the way, the best the, answer. Yeah, I've that's the ever best thing that's going to come show. out of Clubhouse, by the way. Okay, the next one. Now, this is an actual quote from Joao Felix, and it's I played with Chris Willock in Benfica, and he told me that Chelsea has a guy that he sees is similar to me, and he told me it was this person. I see him, and I like the way he plays, I like the way he touches the ball. Is it A, Ruben Loftus Cheek, B, Christian Pulisic, C, Mateo Kovacic, or D, Mason Mount? I don't know this. Struggling on this one, Yeah, I'm here. struggling. Raheem's already got his down, yeah. he wrote down ages ago. Heard this. Right, so, Raheem. What did you say? D. You've both got Mason Mount. Yeah. Let's have a look. 
Uh, the answer it is Mason Mount. You're both good at this game. <laughs> no, Sorry, three for three, guys. Yeah, I know. Okay, our fourth one now. Getting a banner at Stamford Bridge. Tears in my eyes, man. He really deserves it. Now, who was this? A, Thiago Silva, B, Mason Mount, C, Kai Havertz, or D, Cesar Azpilicueta? I don't know, why are you trying to cheat? No, I, yeah, I saw that. Down. I put my answer in. Okay, okay. reveal it to the camera, <laughs> guys. We've got different answers. And D and B. Okay, so Raheem says Aspilicueta. It's actually Tiago oh, Silva, Silva, guys. <laughs> our final one, guys. Our final one is someone always brings energy to our midfield. I love his character. He's a different athlete and always brings something different. That was quick. A, Mateo Kovacic, B, Christian Pulisic, C, N'Golo Conte, or D, Connor Gallagher. What do you reckon? Raheem is very quick to answer this. Yeah. Okay, when you're ready, guys. Reveal the answer. Raheem has gone Conor Gallagher, and Conor has gone Conor, Conor Gallagher. Gallagher. Let's have yeah, a look. But the it... thing is, he copied me. Yeah, no, 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 I didn't. Oh, no, no, I didn't. Him. He does keep Ed, looking at you. I didn't look at it. You I'm can like have Bob. the replay. Let me yeah. edit, please. I'm yeah. like VAR. I swear. If Conor has looked, I we swear. Swear. I swear. point deducted. I... We, know, we do know that Conor looked, looked at the last time. I looked at his thing once this whole game. Yeah, and he'd already written it down. I, I just saw but. the way he looked at me, and was, I know what he said. He didn't need to say anything. He didn't need to say anything. He said, come on, come on, man. He knows you. I know. He by, knows by that look. to this one. Four out of five guys there, both of you. As I said, if VAR sees kind of cheating, yeah. I want a point deducted and, and right. Right. I know I Sterling as, will win. As it stands, it is a draw. For yeah, sure, draw. for sure. Right, now, it's your favourite part, my favourite part. It is time for the initiation. Yes, guys, it's super, super simple. You have to score as many baskets in 30 seconds. As you can see behind you on the great clubhouse leaderboard, Carly Chukwemenka and Wesley Fana has had a go. Uh, Chukwemenka got seven. Wesley Fana, who backed himself yeah, uh, beforehand as well, spoke highly of himself, got four, which is the lowest we've ever had on the show. Even worse than Zach's last season. Well, we don't have to talk about So Carly got seven, Wes got four. You reckon you can beat four? <laughs> yeah. well, I'm not you, sure you you're, not, you're not convinced. Oh, I'm not sure you can. Oh, what is can it you like be able to? A proper hoop. Yeah, yeah it's proper hoop. It's proper hoop. Proper basketball. Little, little Four baskets in 30 seconds, bro. Yeah. I like that, man. <laughs> we shall see. Right, do you want to do a little rock, paper, scissors and see who goes first? Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, you can't. You fell for that first big time. Or second, Raheem? First or second? Second, second. Oh, second. second. Let Connor set the score. Okay, then, right. guys. Without further ado, let's do the initiation. Okay, we're outside for the initiation. It is not the best of days. Oh, Welcome to England. Conor Gallagher is up first. Without further ado, Conor, you've got 30, 30 seconds, seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, go. One, brilliant. Two, really nice. I am a judge. Three. Oh, oh, oh not quite. Oh, my shoes. Not quite. Ah, oh, so short. Four. Okay, you're not. You're at least level. Five. Oh. Brilliant. Yes. Still on five. No. There's too many balls. Six. Connor. Five seconds left. Oh, very close. Connor. Seven. Last one. Oh. oh. That's it, bro. It's done. No. Seven. Oh, man. Seven. <laughs> you are, Connor. <laughs> I started so. At least joint, level. Yeah, your joint top. I'm really not happy. <laughs> I started so well. Seven's all right, brother. Top, three. top. Connor got seven. He's currently level at Joint the top, top of the leaderboard. How are you feeling? You're disappointed, um, aren't you? Yeah, I'm feeling. Okay, Raz, how started are you feeling? Do you feel like you beat that? See. We'll see. He'll let the boss. We do the talking. Okay, in three, two, one, go. One, <laughs> two. Oh no. Oh, not quite. Another three. One. Another Four, one. he's Backward got the business. technique. Another Five. One. Six. Another this one. is actually impressive. This ain't Another impressive. One. Seven. Connor, he's matched you. Another Eight. One. Not quite. Nine. Another Ten. What's right, going on? Five seconds. Another Eleven. Pass the ball. Keep going. Twelve. Yes. Twelve. One more. Last one. Last one. Oh Thirteen. Yeah! No, we got 12. We got 12. 13, 12. 13. I'm, I'm pretty sure 13. I'm pretty sure 13. Let's just hit the backboard. We need VAR. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think Raheem might have found the tactic there. 
You're not, not too bad. Not too I'll bad at all. I think that oh. might be the record for Chelsea. No problem. In general. Absolutely take that. Okay. smashed it. Right. Well, let's get back indoors yes. and I'm sure uh, Connor mm. will be a little bit gutted. <laughs> the initiation is done. Connor, you're sat there, you're not looking happy. Raging, yeah, Connor. He's absolutely, raging. He's absolutely fuming. Connor, why, why are you fuming? I'm fuming. <laughs> I said before we we had our shots, like I said to Rez, we're not hitting back boards, are we? And he just stayed quiet and I thought, knowing him as a person, if I'd done that, he would have been like, what are you doing? But so you're not he, happy, he you're done not it and he's got that so. score, so it is what it is. I think it's impressive. You let him go first, set it, impressive. see what he does, Raheem. So I just asked a question. If you hit the pose and it goes in, <laughs> that a goal. Very good point. It is a goal. Can it I have to say goal. something else? Yeah. Yeah. The, the hoop you got is like, I'm not saying it's a cheap one, but it's, <laughs> wow. it's not a good one. Excuses, no expenses spared on this nah, show, thank you very much. The backboard is like plastic, yeah? So it just comes off it, drops straight into the hoop. All I'm hearing is no, excuse, no skill. All I'm is excuses. Is no sense. skill. Anyone who knows basketball <laughs> will, will, will No, agree. I'm not having it, Connor. Look, here we go. We've got your scores here. If you guys could please write um, what you've got. The you got. I think you put yours, your double figures, remember that? Yep. Double figures, 13. <laughs> Connor, meanwhile, not quite. I mean, you did you did get level <laughs> with Carl. You started so well. You did start so well. You're not well. quite, you're like not quite three, Wes. You're not quite Wes. No. But, um, Connor, can you do us a favour and pop them both? Yeah, I'll let, we'll let you put Raheem on the leaderboard. On there yeah, as Raz well, can just chill top. and relax. Raheem? Yeah. At the very top. I'd probably say as well, Connor, for you, you might have to go below no, he's, he's Carney going as well. Car he's going oh, above Carney. No. Yeah, he's going to go above <laughs> Carney. He has to go yeah, second. I nibbled there. It's C8. Yeah, yeah, C8. yeah. alphabetically. Alphabetically, yeah. yeah. C8. Uh, sort of what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> What's that? No, but it's your... Yeah. It's oldest, yeah. oldest. It's alphabetical. No, it's alphabet. How does it alphabet? O comes after A. There we go. Looks that looks about right. That, that looks about right. right. There we go. Well so the current oh. leaderboard is Raheem Sterling, <laughs> Carney in joint second with Connor, and then Wesley Fafana there. Quick one, in. Raheem. 13. Not too bad. How are you feeling? Yeah, Smashed I felt it. good. I was confident. As you, see, as you can see before, I was focused, locked in. <laughs> Um, Any tips you'd give to Connor? I think he might. He might need them. I think one of the tips I give him is not to talk, not to talk too much. You know, before, before the game, you say he's definitely going to beat this, definitely going to beat that, and he didn't really beat anything. Today. Proof is in the pudding. Yeah. As they say, right? Just focus. Yeah. Oh. Well, guys, there we Aww. have it. Thank you guys so much for coming on to the clubhouse. I hope you guys had a good time. Raheem Sterling at the top of the leaderboard. Not too bad. Yes, and make sure you give us a like if you like the video. Definitely subscribe to the channel. And remember to click the bell as well, because obviously there are future episodes of the clubhouse coming. Indeed, that has been the clubhouse for this episode. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>